Let's start with an example where one observer is on a spaceship moving forward and they launch a model rocket in front of them while riding on the ship. There is an observer on the ground watching this. If the rocket is traveling at four-fifths the speed of light relative to the ground, and the model rocket is launched at four-fifths the speed of light, then we would expect the ground observer to see a speed of four-fifths plus four-fifths, which is equal to eight-fifths, or 1.6 times the speed of light, right? In reality, what the ground observer sees is the model rocket traveling at 97% of the speed of light, which is still below the speed of light. So what happened? Let's revisit the example. Say the model rocket is launched from in front of the spaceship towards a target. The model rocket hits the target when it is four meters away as measured by the spaceship observer. The spaceship observer measures the flight time as five meters, so the model rocket speed was four-fifths of the speed of light. However, the ground observer doesn't measure the same distance or time between the two events. He is in a different reference frame. The distance the ground observer sees from the point where the model rocket is launched to the target is measured as 13.3 meters. The ground observer also sees the time separation differently as 13.7 meters. So ultimately, the speed of the model rocket relative to the ground is 13.3 divided by 13.7, which is equal to 0.97 of the speed of light. That's the behavior of the speed of light in a Lorentzian spacetime. No matter what observer is watching and no matter what speed objects are moving, the speed of light will never be exceeded for any situation.